This is Dennis and what email again? Hi. Last time we learned new idiom. It is in the nick of time. Today we are going to show you our unusual lesson one more time. So join us please. So Yes, and uh, Denise arrived just in the nick of time today. Yeah. Just a few seconds before our session, our seminar, our lesson started. So thank you, Denise. You, you were, are welcome. You weren't late. Yeah. You were very You're welcome. Punctual. Very punctual. Punctual. Yeah. You're ben welcome. Time. Ben on time. You're welcome, Vladimir. Okay, so may I choose? Yeah. Carl? Take, take it. Take a pick. Last time I chose from this side. Today right. I'm going okay. to, to choose from this side. This one is good, I think. Oh, it is. All of them are good. Uh, yeah. So, I, 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 okay. Actually, I don't know how to oh, read it. Anorak? Anorak. It's, uh, it must be one of our favorites. Anorak. Oh! I told you, yes. You explained me you explained me this idiom for example a long time uh, ago. A no, long time. one month. But I remember what is it. And Rick guys, you can you can listen to me <coughs> attentively. And Rick is uh, such kind of people who has unusual hobby, right? Am I right? Yeah. For example, yeah. people who play volleyball or who, who play basketball, football or play domino or collecting collecting some coins, they are not anorak. But people who exa for it's example usual who hobbies. it's usual hobbies. It's usual hobbies, yes. But for example, person who likes e eating bugs. Yeah? For example, it's my fantasy. For pleasure. For pleasure, for pleasure yeah. Eating bugs. Or person who likes watching trains on the train station. Or planes that take off. What? Planes take off. Take, take off, what is take off? Take off of the plane. Uh, take off, depart. Of depart, 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 yeah. Something unusual, that is not usual in our life. These people are anorak. And uh, may I add something? I think that uh, most of our people can't guess that they are really anorak. If you think about yourself, you will find something unusual. Some unusual. You will find, I think. Yes? Am I right? Well, yes. Uh, and sometimes I think of myself as an anorak. Uh, for example, one of my unusual hobbies was uh, just um, five years ago I used to go to our railway station mm -hmm. and just watch people passing, passing by. I was obsessed with this idea. Just mm -hmm. I liked uh, this atmosphere, railway stations. Uh, it was uh, for me. It it's was, unusual. Yeah. So, guys, NRX are in uh, with us, or how can I say? NRX between us. Yeah, among. Try to find them. Yes, try to find them. Try to find, yes. NRX are among us. So, but they, they actually they are good people. That, that, that doesn't uh, that doesn't mean that people is very crazy. Creative, creative. They are very creative, I would say. Yeah, maybe. So, guys, today was I think one of the most useful lessons. It was the great uh, great idioma that you can use both in English and Russian and Ukrainian in both languages. It is NRG. So. Next time we are going to show another idiom. Follow our Instagram, follow our Vkontakte, Facebook, all our networks and our website. Yes? Uh, yeah, but before saying goodbye, I would, I would like to emphasize that most of these idioms have no Russian or Ukra Ukrainian equivalent. Equivalent. But you told me they that... They are part of uh, English mentality. Great. They were created so, by native speakers. So we are creating English mentality through our camera. Yes, we are helping you. So guys, see you next time. Goodbye.